Hi, I'm Jim. So right now, we are in just the, the early beginnings of the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. And honestly, things are like completely unsettling is an understatement, scary for most of us is probably the reality. Um, and it's scary because there's so much uncertainty. It's a brand new virus. We don't know what's specifically active against it. And we really, in a lot of ways, feel like we don't know what to do. There's so many unknowns. Except that there, there are also some knowns. So while we might focus on like wanting to know like, oh my gosh, what herb is the antiviral herb that's against the, the COVID virus? Um, I don't feel, for me, like that's the starting place. What I feel like the starting place are the things that we would consider for any kind of viral infection um, affecting primarily the respiratory tract. Um, we would think about how do we support and, and address a fever and how do we do that in a way that we're not just doing it generically but really working with an individual person's presentation, the way that their fever is manifesting. How do we recognize and prevent dehydration? Um, what are the things that we do to bolster um, our sort of innate immune functions, our core immune functions? Because while that isn't going to prevent us from getting infected, that will give us a better place to work with an infection from. Um, how do we stimulate defenses if we're going to go out and, you know, buy groceries or go to the gas station, you know, like, and we're going to be exposed to things. So how do we stimulate our defenses um, in the face of that exposure? And when we're thinking about a virus that seems to have not only but a primarily respiratory focus, how do we choose herbs to help address um, lower and upper respiratory coughing and congestion and sneezing and um, without just doing it generically how do we how do we look for um, treating damp coughs versus dry coughs versus spasmodic coughs how do we address the different ways that we can have upper respiratory indications um, we can't just do everything the same for everyone because individual people are going to present differently and this is stuff that we know. This is stuff that is like, what we do as herbalists is work on these core person-oriented solutions. Um, and then as we learn more about this virus, and we might learn more about specific herbs that are very specifically against this virus, that's something that we add on top of the core stuff that we do. Um, in February and in early March, I did a series on the immune system and just generally dealing with the different kinds of infections that often, you know, hit people in the winter, but all year too. And I'm taking that those classes and making them available as a series and also available as individual classes for people that want to um, learn more about the kind of differentiation that we do. So that when we're thinking about fever, when we're thinking about um, upper and lower respiratory tract infections, how do we choose the right herbs for that person in the stage of illness that they're at and how they're presenting. So you can, um, you can get that as a series, you can get the individual classes if there's maybe just one area that you want to start off on or focus on or you know some of the other stuff. And uh, I want to make that available and so you will see on the website herbcraft.podia Dot com, uh, different options for obtaining that information there. And my hope is that that will help to support you and that this can be information that you can use to keep yourself and your family well and safe in these uncertain times. And hopefully this is something that you can um, pick up and learn and wrap your head around um, before you're sick. So it's thinking about learning this stuff is actually also preventive medicine. Um, so check it out, spread the word. I appreciate that. Um, and be well and stay well.